Lou, L-O-U, Canellis, C-A-N-E-L-L-I-S, 49 years old, and uh, sports anchor, Fox Chicago. Uh, January of 83. 83, all right. So that would make me class of 83. Um, in speech, radio, TV, communications, Bachelor of Arts. I was involved heavily at WLUW, um, and that was really it, because I worked a full-time job, went to school full-time, worked at the radio station full-time, and actually back then I worked, I was an intern for like all four and a half years. This is my dream job. My dream job isn't to do play-by-play -play for ESPN, it's not to do Sports Center for ESPN. It's to do local sports in my hometown for a network station. So every night I do it, I'm living the dream. The radio station was, was great. Teachers I had at the school, I can't remember any of their names. Um, there was a woman, I was just trying to think of her name and I can't think of it. Doc Dana was a, a huge influence. So I thought Chuck Swirsky was, he was my idol. Came to our class, I asked him if I could go to the radio station to talk to him about what I should do next, because he was doing sports with Sky Daniels on The Loop FM. I went to The Loop, we sat down in his office in between sportscasts, and I said to Chuck, I'm going through, Leo I'm going through Oakland High School and I'm picking my colleges and my dad won't let me go away to play ball at school. Where should I go for radio TV? So he said, the finest radio TV program is at Syracuse. I said, well, Dad will never let me go to Syracuse. He goes, if you can afford it and you've got great grades, Northwestern's got a great school. Medill is terrific. I go, well, I have decent grades, not Northwestern grades, and we clearly don't have the money growing up in Oakland to go to Northwestern. So that's not going to work either. He brought up Missouri, another great journalism school. He brought up the Ohio Bobcats because he was partial Ohio because that's where he went to school. And he then said, I hear that Loyola is starting this radio TV communications um, curriculum that I would anticipate is going to be really good and they're based right here. Loyola was part of my, part of the years that turned me into a man because when I went to Loyola, I was working on my career, going to school, working full time, and not under dad's roof anymore. So I learned how to prioritize, build a schedule, go out and make a living on my own, pay my own bills, deal with people, I knew no one at Loyola when I went there. It wasn't like I went there with my best friend from high school, so I always had someone alongside. It forced me to meet people. And the radio station, WLUW, and the environment that Wayne had created there really was something that I'll never forget.